welcome to Tread Movie Land. I'm here to review the 2003 film Just Married. This movie is a romantic comedy. Or is it? I don't know. You decide. Let's do this. Just Married. The story of Tom and Sarah. I mean, why get married, right? Look at the looks on their faces. Tom is a radio DJ. So where you been, man? You're on in five. I walked over. I had to clear my head. So? What happened? Well, I had the perfect relationship that was ruined by marriage. And I totally agree with him. Anyways, this is the way they meet. She's running with her dog. He's playing football. He throws a long pass and... BAM! Right in the face. And that's how they meet. They share a beer. Cheers. And they Sarah, hook Ms. up. Journey? Cheers. Tom Lazak. In this incident, this is how they got into that marriage, you know, business trouble thing. You know, the dog is bugging, which is her dog. He throws the ball so he can go fetch it. And he jumps out the window and... So that's how the dog died. And that's what led to all of this. Was like bags to chase pigeons? Oh yeah, he made a lie about it, by the way. This pigeon was cruel. Nah, but he won't say it back. See, now she's trying to take advantage of the of the moment so he could feel sorry for her and lock him up. Check this out. I want to marry you, Tom Lezak. Oh, my goodness. And the poor sucker is going to fall for it. I want to marry you, too. So now he's going to go meet the family. <laughs> oh, welcome to the family, Tom. Thank you, Mrs. McNerney. Oh, you can call me Pussy now. Thank you. Jeez. Pussy? Anyways, the wedding date came. You didn't have that you wish you had. You were like the worst best man ever. Well, actually, no. She's the worst bride ever. And we're about to find out why. She invited Prentice. Okay, so she invited this guy. Now. Did she ever hook up with that Yahoo? Ooh, now that's a question. Did she ever hook up with him? Yeah, see, he's all happy to be. Oh, look at it. Oh. Look at those eyes. Look at the way she's looking at him. And you could have had Peter. I did have Peter and it wasn't that hot. Okay? Oh, there you go. That answers your question. Excuse wow. Me. She invited a past relationship to her wedding. Mm. See, it's already starting bad. So here they go. They're going to get married. Mama Jumbo. Now they're officially married. And look how excited they are. Oh, now it's time to go into... Anyways, going to their room, you know, he's carrying her in traditionally, like, you know, when they get married. And then this happens. Do you feel like it? I don't know. Do you? I'm kind of tired. Oh! Look at that! She wouldn't even have sex with him on their first night as a married couple. And it's something I fantasized about my whole life. And now it's over. Wow! But see, she could still say, okay, let's have sex. It's not over. But no, she just fell asleep. He fell asleep. And then... Sweetie, our plane leaves in an hour. Oh, yeah, they got a plane. Oh! Anyway, they got a plane to catch. So, you know, they're going on their honeymoon. But by the way, she wants to join the Mile High Club over here. Now they're going to a... Close it, bitch! So now they're going to go to another bathroom stall, and... Mexican food. Oh. Anyway, so they arrive. Well, there they go. The like a happy little, little married couple. Hits. Okay, so they arrive and they rent this little car. I specifically ordered a cop. And they arrive to their hotel stay, which looks like a castle. So now they're gonna check in. Oui. No. No oui. Why? It's so fresh and young to have marriage. Yup. No? No. <laughs> Too young. Of course. Forget. Ooh, oh, so look at this. Somebody left him a gift. I wonder who. Congratulations. Have a wonderful honeymoon, love. Peter. Oh, her ex. Tom I wonder Sarah. how he knew they were going to stay and there. So now they get another honeymoon. gift. Love, Kyle. Well, they get an American <laughs> gift. So now he's going to try to charge that it. plug won't fit in a European outlet. I'll make it fit. Honey, don't and yes, he it. will. And then, he's going to force it in it. 
Oh, look at what he just got. Oh, that oh! So now they're practically gonna get kicked out and have to go find a new place. You get out of my hotel, you have! I wouldn't stay in this dump if you paid us! So they leave and she gets mad at him. I mean, too many bad things are happening. Look, they're gonna hit that truck! They should move out of the way! Oh! Oh, he loses control of the car and... Boom! They crash and they pretty much stay stuck. Kind of snowed in. We get to freeze to death. Or whatever, the next day, you know, he's able to come out and look at that beautiful snow there on the hill. But they need help. Oh, look at that nice scenery. Okay, so now they got this person's attention by throwing a snow bottom. And she's coming in reverse and... Oh, she just hit their car. Oh, she flipped them off. There goes the wrecked car. But just like every woman, she's gonna flip out. Everyone's supposed to be all champagne and room service and love making. We haven't made love. And no, 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 no. What do we get? We get evicted from a five star hotel and to boot. Hey, man, imagine putting up with this. This is already hurting my ears. Oh my god, imagine being married to someone like that. Maybe we should go home. So, they arrive to the location where they're gonna stay at. You know, which is what they could afford. And then they're going, they're going up the... St and like I said, they're going up the step. Oh. Oh my goodness. Imagine what that smells like. Yuck. Anyway, so they arrive to the room. Well. And, and you know, they're going to try to make out. You know, they're making out. Oh, look at that. Now they're getting dirty. Look at that. Kissing it. And, and going hardcore. And then. I mean, seriously, nothing's going right. Wow, and see how they put it like a like a sheet. And they're really going out of there. But see, instead of them saying, okay, come on, let's do something, they're not doing anything. Or are they? Hmm, let's see. Oh, now she's making out with them. Oh, they look! Oh, that's so gross! Oh my goodness, that's disgusting! Look at it! Oh, look at it! Oh, look at it! It's going by his mouth! So they leave, and she borrows money from her dad. Thanks for the help, Daddy. Wow, what a nice hotel room! But he's not gonna get off that easy. I expect you to pay me back in full just as soon as that silly ass radio show of yours yields any kind of reasonable income. Goodbye. Wow, shows how much his dad likes him, huh? So they go out on, the, out on the town, you know, they eat, drink some wine, get themselves drawn, you know, make out, you know, have a good time. And then he discovers a American sports bar. I'll meet you at the hotel. I love you. I love you. Hmm. So anyway, so she's thinking, hmm. She's already thinking of a way to get him back. Trust me. Women are like that. Anyway, so she's going to walk back to the hotel. And suddenly, she thinks she sees something. And yup. She sees her ex arriving. Look at that. That's magic to her eyes. And ooh! The big mess she's causing. But now she wants to go up to him. Peter? Pee Wee, what a surprise. What a coincidence, huh? In Venice. Yes. Well, in Venice, yes. Next Tron's buying out Ferruzia chocolate, the deal that I mean. Now, whatever that means. So they sent the kid in to close the deal. Peter. Why don't we celebrate this great coincidence? We're in Venice. I'll take you guys to dinner. I'm on my honeymoon. I think he knows that. <laughs> my, right. My honeymoon. I got a lot of work to do anyway, so I'm going to. Uh, but see, she's not gonna stop thinking about it. She's already like, oh, her heart is pounding. Peter, wait. I'm, uh, I don't mean to be rude. Of course she doesn't. You <laughs> couldn't be rude. Wow. But see, she can't stop thinking about it. Look at that look on her face. This is so pathetic. Wow. So wrong. And then her husband comes back. Dodge just one, honey. <laughs> We need to talk. Oh, she wants to talk. So there he goes. I want. Marriage is built on honesty and trust. Right? So now he's going to tell him the truth about what happened to the dog. He didn't exactly die the way that I described it. 
There you go, he's telling the story, how he threw a tennis ball, and he went over and got run over, and now this is big. When all women are doing something wrong, or they want to do something wrong, you know, they're going to try to find an excuse, you know, like a little fight or something. So this is what she's going to do. She's going to start a fight in order to get out of that room, in order to go see the other guy. I have to figure out what to do with this. What does that mean? See what I mean? I She's trying to head out the door. She's driver. throwing all her ammo at him. But see, liar. if it's not working, she's gonna have to do something oh, really suck. cool in order to really get out of there. I slept with Peter Prentiss. Wow, you know that's gonna work. Oh, the only thing she went the wrong way. What? I slept with Peter. I heard you. Wow, look at that, no shame. So what's gonna happen now? It was a long time ago. When? How long ago? Before we got had... married. Yes. Got engaged. Of course. Got together. Yes. No. Oh, she cheated on him. I was confused. Wow. And here comes the biggest excuse women give to a guy when they cheat. The I needed to prove to myself I really loved you scam. My feelings for you were very, very strong. And I needed to know that they were real. Wow. So she had to sleep around. So now they're both mad. Now you broke it. And they're both gonna go. Oh, by the way, Peter's staying at the hotel. Oh, look at that look on her face, the way she rubbed it in. So he's gonna go this way, she's gonna go that way. He's gonna go to the American sports bar, and she's gonna go on her own, kind of like, to see if she could attract the other guy to go talk to her. Like right now. Where's Tom? We don't feel the need to be with each other all the time. Wow, she's giving this guy hint, hint. And now she's in the back seat. I have a car with this guy. She's about to drink some champagne. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at her face. Oh, look at that. And he goes to a sports bar and then this chick clings on him. See, and instead of saying, no, look, I'm married. No. Coward. So he arrives to his location to go visit some old man that he knows. I mean, the difference is, I mean, he's at, you know, near the hotel. I mean, she left the whole scene. Oh yeah, by the way. Gonna go back to Hint, hint. She wants to have sex with this guy. So now he's trying to escape from the bathroom. And he does. And oh, he lands on that. So now he's going back to the hotel. He's about to find out some bad the, news. Uh, key to 309, please? Oh, and uh, do you know if my wife's up in the room? A good husband knows where his wife is at all time. Well, not really. Not when they're players, huh? So now he's going to pay him out so he can find out some info. Your wife is in a car on her way to Salvatison with Mr. Prentice. Wow. Peter. Prentice. Look at that look on his face. Idiot. So he goes back to the bar. And that Klingon comes that back. That is the longest trick of piss in Italian history. So he gets tricked into walking her to her room. Can I use your phone? My, my phone? So he's going to let her use his phone. Now look at her. Oh, look at that. It was a trick all along. And what? I don't know if something happened there. This was happening. She was arriving with this guy. Look how late. It's already nighttime. I mean, she's asking what? I mean, she's really asking, what are you going to do now? I can't take this anymore. Wow, and he kisses her. I mean, she wanted that the whole time. I mean, this is so wrong on her honeymoon. I mean, what a bad marriage. But anyways, I'm going to leave it right there. Whatever happened in that hotel room, whatever happens here, I'll let you guys watch the rest. On your own time. Either this movie is a disaster or the relationship is. I don't know. You decide. Comment below and let everyone know. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell your friends about this awesome show. Until next time, just don't get married.